Transportation officials now investigating that deadly plane crash near Truckee. Thanks for being with us for Late News Tonight. I'm Luke Clary. And I'm Alicia Machado. Our guard, Paul Sunga, is live in studio tonight with more on what might have caused that crash. Yeah, hey there, guys. And this is a flight path of that crash, of the plane that crashed in the Truckee area. It took off in the Denver area around the 430 Mountain Time, but you can see it looped around Lake Tahoe, went to Reno, and as it was approaching Truckee, the flight data did show that this plane slowed down, then sped up, and then crashed. And that is what investigators are going to be trying to piece together exactly what happened in that 5-10 minutes before it crashed. Now, we did speak to an aviation expert tonight about what the factors could be that led to this crash. The NTSB and the FAA continuing its investigation. Why an aircraft crashed into this wooden area just short of the Truckee Tahoe Airport, killing two. Now multiple reports, aircraft on fire. I felt it from the house. Neighbors living in the area capturing the large plume of smoke shortly after the deadly crash. Sure enough. Authorities say it happened just before 7 p.m. Saturday as the plane tried to land at the airport, instead coming down on a railroad track about a half a mile away from the airport's runway. There is damage to the railroad. It's unusable. First responders found the aircraft debris scattered across this trucky neighborhood, for some too close for comfort. My heart was in my stomach the rest of the night, just knowing that it could have been any of our neighbors. Completely heartbreaking what happened. Friends and business partners confirmed the identity of those on board as Larone and Naomi Petrushka, who were investors and philanthropists. I've known Leon and Naomi for many, many years. Um, they, they were fantastic individuals. Um, they've been a pillar of the community here in the Bay Area. The family friend says the couple were prominent figures in both the U.S. and Israeli communities. They leave behind three boys. They left their imprint on everyone they met. Uh, they're really amazing parents, uh, amazing colleagues, um, and really everyone that they touched is completely heartbroken. The duo were in a single-engine TBM aircraft, similar to this model. The TBM 700 is a pretty high-performance advanced aircraft. Scott Miller, an aviation expert and professor at San Jose State, Landing in the Truckee Airport can be pretty challenging uh, sitting in the valley there. He says the investigators will look at the pilot's experience, depending on if weather had an impact due to low visibility as light snow was falling at the time and the amount of fuel left. And flying from Colorado to Truckee, California is about the limit of range for that aircraft. So they're going to look to see how much fuel was on board the aircraft and if uh, perhaps they were getting in a low fuel situation that might be driving some less than optimal decisions. And the question Miller has, if landing in the Reno area at the Reno International Airport would have been a better option, but federal investigators are going to look at that and everything involved with this crash. And they are asking people to share any videos of the crash that they have, guys. Yeah, an incredibly tragic mm -hmm. uh, event for the family and friends of that couple, and I know that uh, you'll stay on this investigation. Our Garspal Sangha starting us off here tonight. Garspal, thank you. Mm -hmm.